Well, good morning to everybody. How are you guys doing today? It is March 31st, I believe. Let me just make sure. March 31st. Look at my other phone. Yes, it's March 31st, 2023 in the Big Bear, California area. And this is the aftermath video. So for the aftermath, we do the whole valley tour. So we're going to go check out all the valley. Check out the discrepancies of snow different. So as I told you guys, I've, I've coined a term called the Big Bear Snow Rule, which basically just indicates that one side of town will always get significantly more snow than the other, and it's only about a seven to eight mile indifference the distance. So it's, it's pretty remarkable how it works. I find it to be fascinating. But then again, I am kind of a weathered dork. Yeah, you guys, once again, the lake is at the 10 feet below full level, so that's a, that's really good news. That is really great news. We have some more, some more weather coming in next Monday. Today's Friday, by the way, and the time is 10.33 a.m. I wanted to make sure all the fog was, was gone before we did this aftermath video. I want it to be super pretty. And last night, when I was on the other side of town, where we're headed right now, it, it, it looked like they were fixing potholes, you guys. I can't believe it. Like, I was shocked. But there was CHP everywhere and a bunch of uh, Caltrans trucks right next to all the potholes. So, either CHP got flat tires and stuff like that, and the Caltrans workers, or they're actually fixing the potholes. Hope you guys are doing well today. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. Thank you guys for all the love. I've been doing this for eight years now. I've never missed one storm. Um, and over, over the years, in a form of flattery, there there, there have been a couple people who, who recently copy me up here and in Mammoth and stuff like that. And it feels really good. It feels really good that, you know, I didn't think anyone would even watch this channel let alone like it, subscribe to it, or other people copy it, you know? So it it feels really good to be the OG of Big Bear weather stuff, or just all our mountains in, in California weather information. I do wish a lot of times we did live in the Mammoth area because I would probably have a lot more subscribers because that's just incredible snow up there, but as you guys know, for the first seven and a half years, I never asked you guys once to ever like or subscribe. Not in one video, not, there were 3,000 videos, you guys, and I never, ever asked you guys because I, like that just was never the goal. The goal is just to bring joy and information to your lives and, you know, every time it snows, it, it takes away my depression and recording it for when I get down in the future makes me feel really, really good. So I can watch it and then not be as down anymore. But thank you guys for being so supportive. I really love you guys a lot. So my windshield wiper fluid's still frozen. It's 37 degrees outside. <laughs> That's a good question. I'm pretty sure they all are. But what I always have my YouTube friends do just to make sure is call 800 Caltrans. It's a very quick, quick phone number or <laughs> phone call just to uh, make sure the road that you want to travel up is safe and open. But I'm pretty sure it is. We only got a couple inches of snow, I believe, out of this last storm. So you should be good, my brother. I can't wait to see you, dude. Sorry about that, you guys. But yeah, this channel's been very special to me. Um, I moved up here just for the snow from Newport Beach. I mean, literally, guys, just for the snow. Not the mountains, not the lake, not the skiing, not the people, not anything else other than the snow. And uh, I've got what I wanted, and I'm, 
I'm just super grateful about that. Um, I've developed a lot of beautiful friendships with with you guys on here um, because you guys, the people, were, were the biggest surprise to me. I never, ever contemplated in a million years that anything like this would happen for me. That, that I would have people I love most in my life here with me on this channel. So thank you guys once again for everything. And uh, not, not trying to get too sappy with you guys here, but I really do appreciate it. And let's keep kicking butt and taking names. All right, so we are about to enter Big Bear City from the Big Bear Lake area. I don't want to get too close to this guy in front of us. He's splashing up water, and since I can't clean my windshield wipers right now, it's going to uh, screw up our view. We don't want our view screwed up, do we? We're going to take that walking path one of these days, my wife and I. That'll be a really pretty video. I think we need to do that sooner than later, though, while there's still water in there. <coughs> I mean, there is a lot of water in there. It's so great. That little area you're staring at in the middle of the screen, it's a little island out there now. So we're going to have to pull over and I'm going to have to use some snow to wipe on the windshield. But we got to do what we got to do, right guys? We're going to turn into the Big Bear snow play area. Hang tight, y'all. All right, mission accomplished. So we're gonna be starting off basically on the side of town that gets the least amount of snow. Wow, smart. It's called Baldwin, but the further we go this direction, the less snow in the Big Bear Valley you're gonna see. So I'm looking forward to that. Because the contrast when we get back to the Big Bear Dam is, is going to be something else, I'll tell you what. Obviously there's still a lot of potholes, but I think, I, I'm pretty sure I can't wait to see right now. Um, I think they actually got the worst part of town taken care of last night. It was at about, I want to say like 9 o'clock p.m., 8.30 or 9. I did record it for a YouTube short, but I decided not to post it because it was just driving by.
Baldwin's going to look so beautiful. Even though it's not going to have much snow, there's going to be a lot of parts of Baldwin, you guys, that are going to shock you that there's, like, no snow at all. But on a beautiful, beautiful sunny day like this, beautiful blue skies, it's just it's a wonderful day to do the aftermath. All the aftermaths are, are like this, though. I was going to go out earlier, but it was a bit foggy out here. Okay, so from this stoplight forward, Greenway, this is where the potholes are really, really bad. So they didn't fix them right here. Extreme rough road. Maybe they didn't do anything last night. That's great. Wonderful. Because that sign wouldn't, wouldn't be up if they... Uh, They did. Maybe, maybe they did. Let's just keep our fingers crossed. What's been happening is everybody has, where that UPS truck is coming our way, everyone in this lane has been driving on that side of the road. Looks like some of some of the biggest ones were filled in. I can tell already, so that's great. That is really good. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So they're gonna deal with the little ones later. Good for them, you guys. Yes, because this was horrible. I mean, this was ridiculous. Let's see if we have any windshield wiper fluid action yet, because it is above freezing. but nothing like it was on that stretch. So that's fantastic news, you guys. <coughs> All right, this is Maple Lane. If you want to go up to Sugarloaf, you would turn right here at Maple Lane. I forgot to mention last night, you guys, these roads were so incredibly icy. I mean, it was horrible. The second worst I've experienced all, all season. Really early in the season, we got some freezing rain. And just pulling out of my driveway going five miles per hour, it, I, I, I slid across the whole road. Like, it was, it was awful. And last night, it was almost as bad. Okay, so we're coming up to the, the Highway 18 and Highway 38. If we turn right here, we'll be on Highway 38, which is what takes you in and out of town, up uh, down to Mentone and, and, and Redlands there, and Mentone, Yukaipa, and Redlands. So that's Highway 38. We're gonna keep on going. Now we are entering Baldwin. shield snow clean and then we'll be good
already see there's hardly any snow over here right now. This field, when it's got, when it's full of snow, I don't know why it's it's so so beautiful when there's snow everywhere in there, but it's it's gorgeous when there's snow all over the place on that field. Yeah, so we're on a road called Shea Road, S H A Y. pull over real quickly to put some snow on the windshield again since we're not going to be passing many cars through here so just bear with me guys clean the windshield hang on all right and when i got out of the car i stepped in, a, in some donkey doo-doo <laughs> awesome you gotta love that you guys the donkey doo-doo is great to step in all right now let's clean this bad boy up. all right perfect we are perfect again. This is gonna be shocking for you guys. It really is to see how little snow's over here. And then when we drive around to the Big Bear Dam, it's gonna be that much more shocking because there's a lot more snow over there. I can already tell there's just no snow out here. And this road, Shea, S-H-A-Y, turns into Baldwin Lake Road. And then we will end up dropping off at, the, at Highway 18 on the backside, almost near right where you start going down to Lucerne Valley and Apple Valley and Victorville. Baldwin Lake over here. We'll roll up the window because these cars are passing us. I don't want to get splashed. This is a little sledding area that I refer you guys to in Baldwin. It's the only one, a, a, a free little area. Kids can go up and down that little slope right there just make sure you parents are, are waiting at the bottom because they could slide into the street so that's not really one of the safest ones but if you are staying on this side of town it's really really close and there aren't that many cars that travel this road it, it's not like big bear boulevard traffic i do have in my playlist you guys a video that shows you four free areas to go sledding here this is just this is crazy guys this is only seven miles away from the big bear dam same elevation I was gonna get to the future weather information that my friend texted me and I totally forgot. So we're gonna do that right now. I'm hoping the amount of snow picks up for Monday. Oh, well now the snow went away on Monday. Doesn't look like there's gonna be any snow. Now it says wind increasing, a few clouds from time to time.
stop. No bueno, guys. No bueno. Look at this. It's so pretty. That's Baldwin Lake, you guys. I bet a lot of you were shocked to see a lake. I know I've showed it to you guys a couple times, but and believe it or not, that lake won't be here for that long. It'll, it'll probably dry up by, like, completely dry up by the end of April. Depending on the amount of precipitation we continue to get. Oh, it's such a beautiful view out there. Yeah, you can see there's hardly any snow over here. There's more areas of zero snow than there is with snow. I'm so weird. I know. Like, like what is wrong with me? You know, when I was brushing my teeth earlier today, and part of my chip tooth, chip toothed off. Part of my tooth chipped off. I'm freaking out about it. Uh, you know, I got to go see my my friend here from this channel because when I had a, 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 like a really bad toothache a few years back, um, Taylor Rice from Rice Dentistry in the Irvine area by the Irvine Spectrum said, hey, I was hearing you talking about your tooth bothering you. Well, my father and I own a cosmetic dentistry practice in Orange County. If you want to come down, we'll take care of you. So I did. And I'll tell you what, guys, I've never seen, even growing up in Newport Beach and going as a kid to the nicest, nicest dentist office and stuff, I have never seen such a high-end dentistry office with the most up-to-date technology and just amazing staff. I was scared. I'm scared of the dentist. I always have been, but uh, he, he made it really much, much more comfortable for me. So if you guys have any questions about wanting to go to a reliable dentist, uh, Rice Dentistry, and as I said, it's it's in Irvine, I believe. They are fantastic. Taylor Rice and his father are partners. And I think you guys would be very, very comfortable there. But I just, I just don't have the extra money to be spending on this right now. And since it doesn't hurt, I think it might be just like a, a big filling that came off of one of my teeth. Since, since it doesn't hurt right now, I just can't. I, I can't afford to really do that. Because they don't take medical. I I don't believe. And regarding medical dentists and stuff, that's that's the last type of dentist that I want to see. Because I went to a medical dentist um, at Western Dental to have some things checked out, and they wanted to do like so much more, like remove this and crown that and crown this and this and that. And I I broke down and and, and went went to go see Taylor Rice, Doctor Rice, and I didn't need any of that stuff done. He did what needed to be done, and that's it. So once again these agencies are, are just trying to get as much money from the government as they can doing things they don't need to do and so that scares me you know anyway back to the weather sorry guys i know this isn't the the orthodontist channel or the dentist channel this is the beautiful big bear weather and more channel all right so if we hang a right hand turn here at the stop sign you'll go up a tiny little hill and then you'll start heading down it's probably, I don't know, a half a mile, if that, to get to your your start to drive down. You just go up that road and you're on your way down. Lucerne Valley to the right, Big Bear Lake to the left. But look at this, guys. There's just, <laughs> we're going to get to a point right up here where, the, where there will be no snow. So we are now in the, in the least snowiest part of Bear Valley, you guys. The least snowiest part. <laughs> now we're gonna make our journey towards Fonskin. 
and the Big Bear Dam, which is the snowiest part of Big Bear Valley. Baldwin Lake looks so beautiful. I mean, look out here, you guys. There's, there's nothing on this side of the road. It feels like I'm doing a summertime drive over here. just spectacular. <laughs> that really is something else right there. Usually we're driving the other direction for this drive because uh, we want to go against the grain of traffic coming into town. But I wanted to give us a different perspective today because it really is a completely different perspective. Temperature's 38 degrees. The time is 11.01 a.m. on March 31st, Friday, March 31st, 2023. The last day of my birthday month. Look at all that water, you guys. My goodness. I wish that water went into Big Bear Lake. That would help. Uh, that would help big time. The other day, there was someone... Uh, kayaking on here <laughs> i don't think you're supposed to be out there but they were they, they were they were kayaking out there i thought that was pretty hilarious look at this view once you round this corner coming out of the baldwin area boom so just remember guys how there's no snow over here compared to where we're about to go I got to meet one of you guys yesterday, Abandoned54. He's the one who won the, the $150 gift card that we did. Um, if we got 1,500 likes on one of those, those videos during the massive snowstorm, that was really cool. That was really cool. Look at, there's even water over here still. So I've mentioned to you guys what Big Bear's plan is to keep the lake full. It's called the Lake Replenishment Plan. And, and, and what that does is basically they're gonna take all of our sewer water and everything that would be wasted. You know, everything from your sink, your toilet, your shower, up here from everywhere and uh, run it through our water treatment plant and clean it, clean it to a point where it's good enough to be in the lake I mean, for me, I just don't really like that idea, but I know on cruise ships, when I've been on cruises, I drink reverse osmosis water on the cruise ship if I'm not drinking bottled water. And it's, it, it's, it's even cleaner than bottled water. It takes out everything. There's like zero parts per million of anything in the water. It's just as pure as it can possibly get. They pull all the water from the, uh, from the ocean and they clean it out on, on the cruise ships but I just just the thought of just everyone's you know 
uh, I don't know. It just doesn't sound sound good to me. And as, as I said, so it's not as expensive, even though it's super pricey, they're not gonna clean it to, you know, zero to 100 PPM anyway. It, it's gonna be just clean enough to where it's not gonna hurt you to catch fish and eat them and stuff like that. But tell me what you guys think about that. Those those two of you who are still watching because <laughs> I know these aftermath videos are long but what do you guys think about that leave a comment below I keep on rubbing my tongue on that tooth because there's like a hole in it now it's at the bottom where my gums meet my teeth Hello, Tooth. Nice to meet you. Well, hello, Gum. Nice to meet you, too. That's where they meet. I'm just not a fan of getting older, you guys. I'm 43 years young. For those of you who have me in age, I'm not trying to say that I'm old. But I'm feeling old. My wife feeds me too well. I'm, I'm, I'm actually getting fat. Like, this is craziness. I don't want to get heart disease, I, I'd like to live a long life, and I just don't, I just don't want to keep on gaining weight, but she cooks so well, she cooks so well, obviously we're at this hotel, so she's not doing that much cooking, but, um, yeah, I don't know what to do, you guys, I have zero willpower when it comes to food, and especially now that I'm married and I got the woman of my dreams it's like I've like kind of kind of let myself go a little bit but she still thinks I'm the bee's knees and I'm like baby you need glasses <laughs> I love her so much she she loves me so much So still, look at look at how little snow is over here, guys. Apparently, the ski resorts are supposed to, Bear Mountain is supposed to stay open till the 14th or the 16th of April now, and Snow Summit could be open till April 30th. That's the goal. My pro snowboarder friend Mike Gray. I also, speaking of Mike, you guys, I have been adding at the end of every video a link you can click just to check him out. He, he, did, a, he did a video for us. He took my camera and uh, just went and charged at, at Bear Mountain at the park and stuff like, like, like that. And he explained some stuff about where he is and he did some backflips and just cool stuff, man. Mike is the man. Mike is the man for sure. All right, you guys, let's see here. So some good news about temperatures. Next Saturday, not tomorrow, but the following Saturday, the temperature is going to be 49 degrees and then Sunday 52 and then Monday 56 Tuesday 57 and Wednesday 56 and all those days our low temperatures are above freezing in the mid 30s so guys this this could be it this could be it even though I've recorded numerous times around Mother's Day and even on May 31st before a few inches of snow falling so I'm just saying this is going to be it for our really good storm systems. That's what I'm thinking. each and every single one of you were here with me right now those of you who've been watching for a bit you all know that every time I hit the record button it, it feels like you're right here with me it's such a beautiful feeling 
I got a feeling that this drive's gonna be a good drive. Love these views of Snow Summit, right across from, right across the lake here. I know it's not the best because of all the trees, but it's beautiful. Oh, it's so crisp looking out there. My gosh. video so you guys can see the hotel not just the a couple seconds of the outside we actually got to take a tour of all the different types of rooms that they have there so you guys can see what you're interested in choosing I will definitely be for hotels referring that place for sure we stayed there that long you guys because we were supposed to stay there two nights and then check out and then the day, the morning we were supposed to check out, I went to the office and one of my friends works there and I had no idea. And they always offer you here, like, hey, we know it's checkout day, but if you if you wanna stay, come and, 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 and talk to us about special deals and stuff like that. So um, not only did we get a special deal, but my friend offered us her price, the family rate what she she would pay or her family would pay to come stay there. And guys, it's it was like Motel 6 price. It was ridiculous. Like I mean it was about 70% or so less than a regular night stay. So that was fantastic. We decided, you know what? We got to jump on this. So we did. It's been wonderful. In a few days, we're going to also go check out the Holcomb area. Okay, so we're kind of getting closer to the fawn skin neighborhoods now. As you can see, there's more snow on the sides of the road. And the further we go, you're not going to see any brown spots compared to the other side of town. As I said, it's, it's a seven mile difference as the crow flies from Baldwin. Maybe, maybe seven and a half to eight miles, but no further than that from Baldwin to the Big Bear Dam. house right there and then it's, it's got some nice view of that right in between the trees Woo.
my baby. What does my baby need? Ah, oh, she's so sweet. She's so sweet. I told you guys, she loves me so much. I love her so much. She really does put up with a lot when it comes to me because I'm always working. If I'm not at my regular job, then I'm doing this. I love you too, babe. I love you very, very much. And right now I'm actually driving through Fawn Skin. I started in Baldwin on that side. And then after this, I'll be heading back to the house, not the hotel, to get the video uploaded. I love you, baby. So we're going to be getting close to the Eagle Sanctuary, the Eagle Habitat, where you guys see um, Shadow and something else. I don't know why I'm spacing the name, but our beautiful Eagles of Big Bear. Why am I forgetting the name? I just started watching that channel about two years ago, you guys. Never even knew about it, really. And, I, and I, I was shocked because you would think that I would have heard about that from what I do, from my channel, you know, but I never ever had it suggested to me on YouTube or anything. But anyway, we are in downtown Fonskin now, folks. There's the Moose Lodge over there, and here's a little park with some history. Fawn Park. Here's the tributary right here. That's where we go watch that little waterfall. Okay, so this part of the drive to the dam, I don't think we're gonna see any brown spots on any, anywhere, it's just gonna be all snow. And the eagle habitat is here to the right, you guys. whole area here to the right. Those eagles live right up right up back in here somewhere. Not too far from from, from the road either. Here's a sign right here that says closed eagle habitat so yeah that that whole area you guys i know you can't really see much because of the big snow banks but right back up in there our beautiful eagles of big bear Those are big paw prints right there. What was that? Probably a bear. Love this view. If you can even see anything, you probably can't, unfortunately. No lake. Unfortunately, that's, too, that's terrible. Well, there are some brown spots right here, but it's, they're, they're, they're gonna be few and far, far between over here. And there's some right there, but it's not, it's, it's, there's a lot more snow over here. It's just amazing to me how fast our snow melts this time of year obviously there's a lot of different factors that come into play 
One is the sun's angle this time of year. And our temperatures, obviously. But this is so beautiful. Oh my goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. Oh, feels nice. Remember when we got that big snow and I did our aftermath video? The sides almost getting stuck out here at the dam and having to turn around. You couldn't see any of the lake because the snow banks were so high. So I love it that we can see a lot of the lake right now. You can see San Gorgonio Mountain straight ahead. Oh yeah. Hang on a sec. people doing some some plowage some plow plow hey guys doing some plow plow today oh everybody's just doing some plow plow oh my gosh that plow just got taxed you guys see that thing folded did you see the plow like the plow part of the truck it folded <laughs> and guys hopefully in a month I'll be able to start doing drone videos legally because when I was posting them to the channel before with my really nice drone I never knew that what I was doing was illegal had no idea I, I didn't know you had to have a drone license and I didn't know, like, once I, I, once some of you had mentioned it, it's freaked, it scared me because I started to read about it. And there are quite a few, few people who in one video, 15 minutes long, have received over $100,000 in FAA fines, you guys. It's just ridiculous. For stupid things, like, uh, I got all my class stuff for flying the drone, um, like flying over moving cars, no matter your altitude, um, if you're crossing crossing a street and there, there happens to be a moving car driving under you, it's a big deal. And they will find you for every individual uh, regulation that you, you happen to break. And, and most of these guys who I saw on online, it was so innocent. It was so innocent. So it really worried me. I decided to take those drone videos down until I actually become legal to fly my, my drone. Seven degrees. It was 38. It's been fluctuating between 37 and 38 all morning for this drive. Also, in the next few days, I think I can get back there now. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be great. It's 
straight ahead that Snow Valley Ski Resort right there, which is now owned by the company that owns Bear and Snow Summit. I think it's called Altera. It's so pretty. All these people are leaving Big Bear. If you turn right here, you are entering the Little Arctic Circle, heading out. We're at the Big Bear Dam, so yeah. A right turn and you are out of the valley. And I wanna see if I'll be able to get back here to get behind the dam. It doesn't look like it. That's unfortunate because it's right back there that I have to climb over all that stuff. It looks way too dangerous right now, unfortunately. That's a bummer. I can take the risk and come from the other side over here, but you can slip and yeah, it's, it's just just not worth it. I, I knew someone who worked at one of the bars up here and he was with some friends just trying trying to, to, to jump from, from plank to plank and he lost his footing and, and lost his life. It's no joke back there, you guys. But it's incredible for you guys to see how much water is flowing out of the lake 24 hours a day. It's like a white water rapids worth of water coming out 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days of the year. It shocked me. When I saw that, I was like, oh, no wonder why our, our lake's always empty. Besides the drought, that's not helping. And for those of you, uh, that's that our water is our water rights are owned by like the city of Redlands and whatnot down there. So they use all that water for uh, irrigation and whatnot. We don't have a say in it up here. It was a deal that that was made many many decades ago, and it, and there's been a constant fight over it but the deal's the deal i'm just glad that our town is starting to you know try to come up with some ideas on on how to fill the lake and keep the lake full because you guys we're gonna hit another drought again we might get another season of really good weather and fill the lake and overflow it which would, would be fantastic but in five or six years we're gonna be super low again unless we figure something out and the lake replenishment plan seems like the best the best method. But yeah, look at how much snow is over here, you guys, compared to, to, to Baldwin. It's a night and day difference. And as I said, it's the same elevation as well. Bear Lake, elevation 6,054. Sorry about that. It's so cool to live over a mile up here. When my mom sent me to a boarding school in, in Colorado when I was 14 and 15, I went for two years. Um, not that I was a, a bad kid, I just had a substance issue. But it was only cannabis back then, but back then that was a big deal. A really big deal still. I mean, you go to jail for a long time for that. But uh, I was so excited to live in, in the Mile High City. Denver was awesome back then. It was awesome, I loved it. I lived all over the Front Range though. Side through there, and there's Boulder Bay frozen. So pretty. Always check out our sister city, Abtenu, Austria. A B T E N E A U, I think. If you type it in on Google and you miss it by a, a couple a, a couple letters, you'll it'll 
populate it for you. I'm telling you guys, it's got to be the most pretty wintry town and even summer town that I may have ever seen in my entire life. It's it's absolutely gorgeous. Abtenu, Austria. And I've got Austrian blood in me. So just to know that it really is that pretty out there, it, it makes me feel proud to have Austrian, <laughs> Austrian blood. I know that sounds stupid, but it's the truth. part of Big Bear Boulevard has some decent potholes as well, especially coming up here a little bit. I always point this area out. There's a real estate office there now, but this used to be a drive-in theater. It's so sad that it's gone. I never got to see it. It's been gone since well before I moved here, but I think that would be something, something beautiful out here to see some movies under the stars. See, we just avoided some some big potholes. Now we're gonna go right, right around these right here. We're obviously going to go through the village. We always got to do the village, especially on these drives at the very end or at the very beginning. And now for the one person who's still watching this far into it, I just want to say thank you. Thank, thank you again for, for being here with me and sharing this wonderful, wonderful experience. This is a beautiful place. This is, I mean, it's, it's such a beautiful retreat for so many people down the mountain. And I just really, really want to say thank you guys for showing me so much love and so much support. I've been working hard on this for many, many years. And honestly, guys, I'm just following my passion. I don't do anything that I wouldn't normally do. Like, this is all because I want to do this. Nothing's changed over all, all these years, especially all the years that I didn't ask for anyone to subscribe and like and stuff like that. I, there were seven and a half years of never asking. So you guys can see how authentic this channel truly is. Um, I haven't changed at all since I started asking you guys to like and subscribe. I did that because maybe in five or 10, 10 years, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll be able to make a couple extra bucks and support my wife even better. So she's the reason behind it. The, kind of asking you guys to like and subscribe. Alright, we're heading into the village now. The village. We have a video at this hotel as well, you guys the lodge at Big Bear Lake. I think it's a Holiday Inn Resort. And we stayed in the biggest room they offer. I think it, it was right around 200 bucks per night, so I stayed two nights. But that's what I was originally doing for all these lodging videos that we have in our playlist about lodging, is I was staying in their biggest amenities. Just to show you guys the best of the hotels, you know? And I think we're in one of the, the best rooms at this hotel that we're staying at currently as well. But they do have some bigger amenities, which are cabins right across the street. So if we ever get to stay in one of those cabins, then I will definitely uh, be posting videos for you guys. 
since it'll be a different room. But once again, when I upload this video for you guys uh, of the hotel in the next couple days, it goes, uh, we got a tour from um, uh, management and they showed us all the different rooms at the main part of the hotel. So I think there were th three or four different rooms, like a, a, a regular king, a premium king, a room with uh, two queens, and then a room, rooms that have bunk beds. Right, guys well we are at the end of the road here just want to thank you guys once again for being there for me for enjoying what I do leaving me the most beautiful kind comments we really have become a family on this channel and don't forget we are often imitated but never duplicated we are the the original of the Big Bear weather people and uh, just thank you guys again if you enjoy what I do please like subscribe and share it really will help me out you guys see the efforts that I put into this. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you guys very much. And once again, it's March 31st, 2023 in Big Bear Lake, California. Temperature is 38 degrees and the time is 11.35 a.m. Peace out, you guys. And we're gonna do a video at C C Crepe Cafe right there, that, 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 that's that little shack right there. Love you guys.